Ron, before I went to sleep the other night, a voice came to me and said, you are familiar and have been here before. Have you ever heard of this when you speak to spirit? Um, spirit doesn't normally uh, talk to us like that or about that, but because you've got to ask a question before the spirit can talk to you. <clears throat> and the spirit will talk to you and giving you an answer to your questions. So if the question hasn't come up and you haven't asked, the spirit doesn't get involved in that sort of thing. Um, and, and I say that because in the higher realms, um, overriding you or your dominion is a violation of eternal laws. And, and they don't do that. So somebody that you know speaks, uh, you know, some kind of a, uh, a guru or something or whatever, and they they don't respect your divinity and don't respect your domain and cross over that, then I say to to those who quote those kind of people, they are not in line with the um, with the with the heavens. It is totally offensive to the heavens to for somebody to have power over other people. It's taking away their divinity. It's taking away their stewardship. It's taking away their domain. They are the king of their domain, domain, and that's called a kingdom or a queendom. You're the queen of your domain. Nobody has the right to over ride that or to get involved with it without being asked or without having permission. Now, who's who's guilty of this the most? And what has it caused for us to have a life? The cabal has done this to us and kept us under their pin, under their thumb, whatever you want to call it, as slaves to them. That's the violation of human rights and liberties. And when you do that, when you participate in that sort of thing, and oftentimes we as parents do this to our children who have been raised and are on their own, and we start telling them what to do as if we have the right to do that. We don't. When they reach the age of accountability, they're on their own. They can come in and ask for advice, but if you start telling them what to do, you are in violation of eternal laws. Don't do it. Judgment is another thing. If you judge other people, then you're overcoming their dominion. Now, when you talk to them and tell them, well, you're doing this and shouldn't be doing this. That's not the way that life is supposed to be done. If you have a problem, you observe it. And if they, if you have in your conversation, you have an opportunity to express some feelings and ideas that they, but they have to ask or agree to it. And if they haven't asked and they don't agree to it, then it's inappropriate. I have people telling me right now, you need to do this. You need to do that for loved one society. And I look back at them and say, did I ask for that? Did I give you permission to tell me those kinds of things? Whose responsibility is it for loved one society? Yours or mine? If you have ideas, then you incorporate those kinds of ideas into what you want to create. But I'm the one who is responsible for loved one society. I'm not arrogant. I'm not proud. I just have a source to get the right information. So people come and tell me things, and I'm saying, mm, "Gee, that's uh, that's interesting." You know, you're you're crossing over into my dominion. It might be a good idea, and it may not be, but it's inappropriate to share unless I've asked. And when I ask, then the door is open. Come on in and tell me stuff. But if the door is closed and you pound the door down and start telling me stuff, that's inappropriate. Totally inappropriate. So it's nice to have some information that may come to us, but uh, be sure that you check to where that, and you can ask. 
Is this of the highest good for me? Is this the highest light available for me? And if it's not, then hit listen if you need to, but disregard if you want to, because it's it may not be for you. So, uh, but spirit will talk to you and uh, share stuff like this with you. Uh, you're familiar and have been here before. Well, that's that's not over, overriding your dominion, just helping you to move along in it. So that's the way I look at it. Let's go to the next question. question. Okay, Ron, that sounds great. I appreciate that. And it's definitely a great answer. We'll be right back with the next question. 